In this video, I'm going to show you how to upload a company list to LinkedIn ads. First, we're going to go over the list requirements, a couple tips on how you can improve your match rates, and then I'll go into Campaign Manager and walk you through it step by step. You can use the chapters to below to skip ahead as you like. My name is Mitchell Gould. I work with B2B tech and SaaS companies on LinkedIn ads. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So first, I just want to show you the company list template here. So it's composed of 10 columns and you can download this template from LinkedIn. I'll put the link in the description of this video, but you can go to that link and then you can click here and download the company list template. It will look just like this here and then you can populate it with your data. So there's 10 columns. You need at least um, one of the first five columns to upload the list. So you need at least a company name or a company website, company email domain, LinkedIn company page URL, um, or a stock symbol. And then there's additional fields that can help with your match rates, like industry, city, state, country, and zip code. So for list requirements, uh, your list needs to match at least 300 members. So if you're targeting um, smaller company sizes, like two to 10 employees, you need to make sure you have enough rows that it matches to over 300 members. Um, but if you're targeting larger companies like Microsoft, Salesforce, or even companies not that big, you'll, you'll easily get the 300 member threshold. And then when you're in LinkedIn, you can further narrow down your company list based off of other attributes like job titles, job functions, job seniority. Um, the max list size is 20 megabytes or 300,000 rows in your CSV file. It takes 24 to 48 hours for the list to propagate and be available to use in LinkedIn. And um, we're gonna go through this using a CSV file, but if you're using HubSpot or there's some other third-party tools that you can use the API to upload the company list into LinkedIn ads. And a few tips on how to improve your match rates. So first tip is try to include as many of these attributes as you can. That's going to help LinkedIn get the most accurate and best match rates. And also, um, if you don't have all this data available, if you can at least get the company page URL. So it usually looks like linkedin.com slash company slash the company name. In this example, it's LinkedIn's company page URL. That really helps with your match rates as well as using the website domain. If you just have the, the company name, there's a lot of companies that have similar names and you can have uh, not the, the most accurate matches, but including those fields will really help with your match rates. And then after you upload it, you do want to review your company names and make sure things look accurate. You may need to add some exclusions. Um, and then as your campaigns are running, you want to make sure to monitor performance by company. So if anything looks off, you can add exclusions or adjust as needed. So now let's hop into a campaign manager account and do the list upload. So you're gonna go into campaign manager, go under the plan section and click audiences. And then you wanna be on the match audience tab here and you're gonna click create audience and you'll select match audience. And then you'll select the source company slash contact here, click next. Then you want to give your list a name. I just called this cold prospecting tier one accounts, name it as you like. Then for the list type, you'll select company list and then you'll select uh, your list. So I selected a CSV file from my folder. Then I'll click open and it associates that list here. And then I'll click agree and upload. And now you'll see your list has been uploaded and it's building. Again, that's going to take 24 to 48 hours, sometimes even longer than that. And once it's done building, you'll see the estimated uh, audience size of all the members that work for those companies. Again, the next step is you're gonna wanna layer on job title targeting or other attributes to narrow down. So you're targeting specific personas at these companies. Um, from here, if you wanna validate now what companies matched here, you can go into the saved audience section and you can click create an audience. And then I'll click dismiss here. And then you can select your location targeting, set this to permanent location. We have the US here. And then we'll scroll down and you'll wanna click narrow. And under audiences, you'll click list upload and then go to company list. Now we're selecting that list we just uploaded. Since it's still building, we won't be able to see the data here, but we'll click apply. 
and it's not going to work because this list isn't done building. But once your list is done building, you'll go into the company tab here and you'll be able to see a sample of the companies that match. So this could be good for validation. And then also here, you can continue to narrow on audience attributes to define your audience. So we're targeting the company list. Now we're going to add an and function and go into audience attributes, job experience, just as an example, job titles, and I'll just select a, a couple of job titles here for an example. So now this audience is targeting users in the US that are at these companies and have a job title of director or managing director. So you can continue to narrow and define your audience and then you can click apply and then you can take a look at the different member attributes that will populate here just to validate what your audience looks like as well as the companies and the industries that are showing and then you can save this audience so I'll go back and I'll just give this a name and then I'll click save and that will save that audience now you can go into your campaigns so I'll go to advertise I'll go into this cold prospecting campaign group and I'll edit this campaign here and we can now associate that audience we just created which includes our company list so in the audience section here I'll go to saved audience and I can select that new cold saved audience that I just created you do want to wait until your company list is done propagating and save the audience to make sure it saves all the attributes when you try to save an audience when the list is still building it doesn't save properly but after your company list is done populating and you add on the personas that you want to target in your saved audience you can then go here and select your saved audience now to validate your audience and keep an eye on company performance i'll go into another active account here you can select a campaign and then go to professional demographics and then you can select companies here and you can review uh, a sample of the companies that are getting impressions and data and make sure it aligns with the companies that you had on your targeted list. You can also go into the plan section and go to companies. And then you can also filter on a specific company list. So you click in here and select that company list. And then you can see different metrics and dimensions like engagement level, organic impressions, organic engagements, paid impressions, paid engagements for those companies on that list. And if you want to further action this data, you can check out this video here where I go over different use cases on how to use this companies tab.